In this video, we're going to talk about how to transfer all the data from one QuickBooks file into a brand new separate QuickBooks file. Now, there's tons of circumstances and use cases as to why people want to do this. Uh, generally speaking, really, it's really difficult to tell where this is practical and useful. But for whatever reason, this is a function that people want to use. And I'm going to walk you through how to do that. But first of all, we're going to click on the gear menu. And you have to be on the advanced version of QuickBooks Online for this to work. It's in this option here called Backup Company. So if you don't see Backup Company, that means you're not in the advanced version of QuickBooks Online. To know which version of QuickBooks Online you're in, on the gear menu under Profile, you click on Subscriptions and Billing, and then it will tell you right there which version you're in, and then you can uh, downgrade or upgrade your plan at any point in time. So if you happen not to be in the advanced edition, to, in order to do this, you're going to have to upgrade to the advanced edition, do your transfer, and then cancel or downgrade or whatever you need to do afterwards. So you have to be at least temporarily while you're doing this in the advanced edition for this to work. So anyway, go back here to the home page. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that gear menu, and then we're going to click on backup, uh, where's the backup company. So in the backup company screen, You're going to click on the little button here that says onboard. That way we um, turn on the feature. And then you will notice that you have backup, restore, copy, and personal cloud archive. So backup and restore would be to backup within your company and restore if something got screwed up. And then copy is the mechanism to duplicate the company file or transfer all the data from one company file to the other. So we're actually gonna be using the copy function. So we're, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click, click on create copy. And then it's gonna ask you, where do you wanna copy these to? And then you get uh, a list of all the companies that have already been set up in your QuickBooks file. Now you can click on add company and it will search within your login if there are any other companies that uh, would be compatible with transferring the data over. Generally speaking, you want to be very, very careful because this overwrites the data. So you're not going to be able to merge the data, so to speak. So in order to like avoid this potential mess, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out for a second and I'm going to open up a new browser here and I'm going to uh, create a brand new company file. Okay, And I'm going to use a special link I'll put in the description that gives you a 30% discount uh, on, on the file. So when you transfer the data over and, and you keep that subscription under the new file, you get a 30% discount for 12 months. So I'm going to always have to be advanced because the copy can only copy into another advance. You can downgrade afterwards, which is fine, but they need to be temporarily in advance for this duplication or data transfer to happen. So I'm going to click here and try it free. <clears throat> Log in. And down here in the bottom, I'm going to cl click on where it says create new company. So I'm not going to select the current company. I'm going to click on create new company. And that's how you create a brand new file with your existing login. So you don't have to create a new login. You can use your existing login and create a brand new file. So uh, on the onboarding process, we're going to answer a couple of these questions. We're going to call it destination file, right? That way it's very, very easy to identify. Okay. And then... Uh, later on, you can change and give it the actual uh, company name. So I'm just going to go through uh, through a couple of these things. Uh, I'm going to skip any time that allows me to skip. I'm just going to answer some of these questions. You kind of have to, let's do, um, I don't know, personalize invoices, make them payable. I'm going to skip for now. Just trying to move as fast as possible. Skip for now. Okay, you can always go back into the settings and change any of these things. So not right now and uh, skip from now. So just trying to move as quickly as possible so we can finish setting up the new file. Okay, so we'll wait for this to finish up and then I should have a brand new blank file with no data. And that's kind of the point. So it's a, it's under free trial. I haven't entered a credit card yet. Um, it's, uh, it's a 30 day free trial for advance. Up here, you get the big green thing that says buy it now. That means you are on a free trial. And if I go and try to run a report, let me try to run a, a PL report. Uh, 
and then I'll choose all dates, click on run report, that should be blank. And that's kind of the point, right? So we created a new file. For now, it's called destination file, easy to identify. It has no data. So I'm gonna click on the gear menu and I'm gonna switch back, switch company. And I'm, I did all this under my same login. That way the, the, the files can, they can see each other on the transfer. I'm gonna go to the, the source file that I wanna copy from. So this, this one's called Wholesale Lights um, Corp. I'll go ahead and run a PNL just so we can see that it, there is data on it. And then later after we do the transfer, we're gonna take a look at that PNL again on the new file and see if the data is complete. So I'm gonna click on all dates here. And then the number that we really, really care about is after you do a PNL for all dates, go all the way down and take a look at the net income. 670 434.86. So if all the data transfers fully, then that's the number that we're expecting to see on the other file after we do the copy. So we'll go back to the gear menu one more time. We'll go to backup company. We're going to click on the copy tab here at the top. Then we're going to click on create copy. And then the from is this wholesale lights and then copy to that's where we're going to click on add company and then find this one called destination file, right? That's the name that we gave it. Again, we could always change that name afterwards to the real company name. Just for now, I like using something I can identify so I don't get confused and pick the, the wrong file to, to do the copy for. Okay. So let's go destination file. It tells you here uh, the date. So it says the last backup in this case was 4-10-2025. That's the last time it was backed up. If, you, if, if this um, backup is late, then you can click on run manual backup and do a full backup or a complete backup and then do a backup. Um, that way the full backup of the file gets done and then that way the data that gets transferred is actually based on that backup. So whichever one you pick, uh, you click on backup and then you can, uh, you're gonna kind of let it, uh, let, it, um, let it complete. And once complete, it will tell you when it started, when it finished, you can add some notes into that. You can see how many uh, purchase records, account records, invoice records. You can basically see a quick summary. You can even click on see more details and see a high level of detail of all the things that were backed up. So the backup is done. That means that now we can finally go into copy. And then we can click on create copy. And then in here, we're gonna click our destination file that we created recently. Then here it tells you when the earliest backup is. And you're gonna actually gonna pick that time range. So we're gonna come here and put 4, 10, 2025, and then put that exact time. So 12, it's 12, 16. So we'll go back here, look for 12, 12. The closest thing to that is 12, 10, and then we we'll put 12, 16. So for some odd reason, I just really have to match the time. Then we click on continue. There we go. So it says, great news, configuration check is completed. We'll click on next. Then it says, are you sure you want to initiate the copy process to the destination file? Understand that this copy will delete everything in the destination file. Again, you cannot merge the data. You'll be copying all the data and sort of almost pretty much creating a brand new, brand new company file. I had created a brand new file anyway, so it doesn't matter. But if you pick another file that's in your system that has any data, remember, you will lose that. So we'll go to start copy. And then we just wait. It's currently queued and we'll wait until that finishes. Well, interestingly enough, this one actually took several hours. It failed the first time and I had to try again and then eventually worked. If you click here where it says view, you can actually see all the records that were copied over. Click on see more details. You can also see if there's any challenges, for example, with sales tax or something. There was some, some issue transferring with sales tax but then you get a, a complete list of everything that was moved over, okay? So now I'm gonna click on the gear menu and click on switch company. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the new destination file, which I could change the name afterwards. So let me type here destination file, there we go. And then this is where we're gonna now compare the profit and loss of one with the other. So I'm gonna go into reports, standard reports, and then we're gonna go into profit and loss standard. That's what we're gonna look for here, the profit and loss standard. And then we'll do all dates, all dates. And then the number that we're essentially looking at is the net income. So let me pull up the one for the other company. 
and we actually compare the net income, the net income is different. Okay, so that means that some data didn't transfer over. And unfortunately, you don't get like a really good log that tells you, okay, this stuff uh, was left out and this is the reason why your net income doesn't match. So at that point, you're literally going to have to look at every single line, your revenue line, your cost of goods sold line, see which, ex which of the lines are off, and then get the detailed reports for both sides, and then probably, most likely, have to manually enter every single transaction that is missing. You know, maybe the error that I got previously related to sales tax uh, told me something about that. Let's go back into um, the old company, and we'll see if, if there's any other clues as to what didn't transfer over. The, the, the bad news is I'm not going to show you like an easy button that you can press to fix this. It, you know, in many ways, while I was recording the video, I was hoping, well, hopefully we'll have best case scenario and all the data transfers over and it's perfect. Um, or, you know, this happened where this happens sometimes where it says that it's a success. It tells you the data was transferred over. And the only sort of information you have here, it says that unlike the source company, automated sales tax is enabled for the company, tax will be calculated automatically. That doesn't really tell me much. Um, in here, it shows as if, you know, like stuff came in with no issue. So again, that is kind of the challenges. I've never really trusted this feature, the backup uh, and restore feature, particularly for duplicating files but it's the only thing we got in terms of what QuickBooks gives you with the advanced edition. There are other um, third-party apps out there that claim to do the data transfer. Or I know for a fact that you can use particular apps to transfer all the transactions and then bring them in, but to create exact copies of, uh, of QuickBooks Online files is just not perfection at the moment. And there will be files where you will try it and all the data will come over and there will be files exactly like this, where you look at the uh, you look at the uh, PNL and and the balance sheet or whatever, and then you see that the numbers are off. If we just look at the revenue line, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go a little bit simple here. I'm just gonna look at the revenue line, do all dates, and then if I compare the revenue, see here the revenue is one million dollars versus um, my other file that was like eight hundred thousand. So it, it's obvious that um, something is probably missing in terms of revenue. Most likely, it could be um, it could be invoices, maybe. Uh, but again, I, I won't I won't make you go through the process of like looking at every transaction. But this is where we're basically where we stand. You would have to probably compare uh, account by account and then figure out how to fill those gaps, or don't duplicate the file. It's up to you. You got to figure out what you're gonna do. Luckily, um, when I did the duplication, I started with a 30-day free trial. So this this other file, you know, I won't charge my credit card until you know I'm I'm 100% sure that this is uh, that this is going to work for me. So it's 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 going to be a trial and error type of thing. So anyway, I hope you like this video. I know the result wasn't perfect. I guarantee you that for some of you, the duplicates will be perfect, and for the other half of you, you're going to have the exact same issue that I have. So hopefully. Uh, there's enough information in this video to, to get you psychologically prepared for what you're about to do to duplicate your QuickBooks Online Advanced Files. Thank you. See you in the next one.